Preliminary results from Monday's presidential election in Rwanda show that incumbent President Paul Kagame has gained 99% of the votes counted. The National Electoral Commission, also known at NEC, says Frank Habineza of the Democratic Green Party received 0.53%, while independent candidate Philippe Payimana received 0.32%. President Kagame has ruled Rwanda since 2000. Viewers, National Bureau, uh, Viewers Nairobi Bureau Chief Maria Mandialo is in Rwanda covering the election. She tells me that voting was generally peaceful. Well, I think uh, in the beginning it seems like uh, turnout was um, super high. I think from at least the uh, voting center uh, that I went in, and I think it was the same voting center as you know where President Kagame voted eventually. So the lines were long. You know, long, but they didn't wait too long because everything went smooth. They came in, waited patiently, voted, and then uh, left. But uh, there were many, many little uh, centers inside of uh, that school. And, uh, you know, it just looked like a lot of people came out uh, to vote. Mariama, I hear that uh, the Elections Commission has begun to announce some results. What can you tell us? I'm actually at the National uh, Electoral Commission right now. Uh, basically, uh, the chairwoman uh, just announced the preliminary uh, results about uh, 10 minutes ago. We are actually, I don't know if you can hear the background, I have to get out a little bit because President Kagame is, uh, you know, actually doing an acceptance speech at this point. I think um, the other opposition candidate did speak a little bit earlier, right before uh, President Kagame. And Payimano, uh, Philip, he did say, from what I can understand very quickly in Kenya, Rwanda, that, um, you know, if this was the choice of uh, the Rwandans, uh, it's a democracy, um, and he respects that. He also did talk about the fact that he was going to wait to uh, get the official results. Uh, but at this point, the announcement showed that uh, President Kagame has 99.15%. You know, that's uh, very, very high, and it shows um, the uh, Democratic Green Party actually doing an acceptance speech at this point. I think um, the other opposition candidate did speak a little bit earlier, right before uh, President Kagame. And Payimano, uh, Philip, he did say, from what I can understand very quickly in Kenya, Rwanda, that, um, you know, if this was the choice of uh, the Rwandans, uh, it's a democracy, um, and he respects that. He also did talk about the fact that he was going to wait to uh, get the official results. Uh, but at this point, the announcement showed that uh, President Kagame has 99.15%. You know, that's uh, very, very high. And it shows uh, the uh, Democratic Green Party um, candidate, uh, Frank Habineza, with 0.53%. And Philip, who we just spoke about, uh, who got 0.32%. Uh, so these are preliminary results. It seems that uh, President Kagame is, is on the road to be reelected. Absolutely. I mean, if he's making uh, an acceptance speech at this point, I think the gap is uh, is big enough that um, maybe he's confident that even if it gets challenged, you know, maybe it won't get there. But um, I, I'm not so sure he's actually speaking in Kenya, Rwanda at this point. Uh, we'll find out more. Uh, I think right after his acceptance speech, we're told that uh, maybe uh, uh, the chairman of uh, the National Electoral Commission might do a, um, a presser just to explain uh, what are the next steps and, and, and what will happen. What's on the timetable for today, Tuesday? I, I, because this is supposed to be a two-day election. What's next? Well, that's actually what we're going to hear about after uh, President Kagame's acceptance speech. They will uh, give us the, the next steps of what is supposed to happen. Because uh, don't forget, this year it's kind of new. They combined the parliamentary elections with the presidential ele uh, elections. So there are a few different things that are happening. So I guess we'll get more details about that uh, after this preliminary uh, result. Maria Madiello, thank you so much again. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you again the next day. Thank you very much, uh, James. That's viewers Nairobi Bureau Chief Maria Madiello speaking with us from the Rwandan capital, Kiga. A car bomb exploded outside a restaurant in Somalia's capital Mogadishu on Sunday night, killing five and injuring 20 as patrons were watching the final of the Euro 2024 football tournament on TV. Police said blaming Islamist insurgents. The bomb destroyed 10 cars and damaged several buildings nearby in a well-guarded area near the presidential palace, Reuters reports said. 
Al-Shabaab militants claimed the responsibility for the attack on an affiliated radio station, saying the bombing targeted a place where security and government workers meet at night. The Islamist group, which once ruled much of Somalia, has been fighting for years to impose its strict interpretation of Islam on Somalia. The insurgents have frequently launched raids and deadly attacks on Mogadishu and other regions controlled by the federal government in the last two years, despite losing large swath of territory to government forces and their allies.